Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your Scuba Professional, and today we're here to review and have a look at the Scuba Pro Definition Wetsuit. This particular wetsuit comes in a 5mm and 7mm thickness, as well as in the male and female cuts. The only difference between 5 and 7mm um, is the thickness of the neoprene. Other than that, the design remains exactly the same. 5mm um, for slightly warmer waters and the 7mm for chilly waters. So 5mm suit, good for Aliwal Shoal, Sedwana, Mozambique type diving and uh, the 7mm more for your Eastern Cape, uh, Western Cape waters uh, where you're diving in the chillier waters. But to go over the um, features of the suit itself, we'll start at the top and work our way to the bottom. First thing I'll notice is over the top of the suit, over your shoulders, you have this abrasion resistant material which has been put on and this is on the knees and elbows as well. And this is just to protect the suit from the high wear areas. Over the shoulders, the BCD is moving around the whole time, both on the boat and underwater. And then your elbows and knee pads as well, they're points of high abrasion. So that will protect the suit itself. Moving to the front, we see there is a neck zip um, at the front there, it's about sort of seven centimeters long. This just allows you to zip the suit down to move it away from your Adam's apple or the top of your throat, which tends to tickle when you are out on the boat trips, which makes you feel nauseous. So this allows you to zip down just to allow a little bit more freedom of breathing around the neck itself. There is a catchment section of neoprene on the inside that just stops water from pouring in if you do zip it down when you're underwater. And then the neck seal itself, if I open that up, is made of what is called a glide skin. We're going to mention that a few times in this video, there's glide skin neoprene around the neck and around the neck seal over there. That is similar to an open cell neoprene where it doesn't have any material on it. It just sticks direct to the skin and that reduces the amount of water that gets through the neck itself, which will keep you much warmer during the dive by limiting water movement. Um, moving down to the body itself, there's a nice big Scuba Pro logo. And this wetsuit has Scuba Pro's new body map system, which essentially means they have their new 3D printed panels on the inside, which conform to pretty much any body shape. So there's a lot less panels in this suit compared to the older suits, but the panels themselves, because of the way they've been cut and designed, will conform to the shape of your body. So if you happen to be carrying a bit of extra weight around the waist area or you have broader shoulders, the wetsuit will conform around that and go a really long way to keep you warm, which is a really great idea from Scuba Pro. The stitching on the suit, most of it is black as we go down here. There's some really cool blue trim on this 5mm suit. The 7mm and the lady suits are different trim colors. And that's how you tell them apart. But all the stitching on these suits are what they refer to as blind stitch. Blind stitching means that they don't stitch the whole way through the suits. As the stitch goes through, it stops just short of the other side of the neoprene, which stops it from puncturing straight through. So the chances of water running through the stitch onto your body is now not an issue because it twists back through the suit itself. And then the glues which are used on this um, wetsuit are non-solvent glues, so they are eco-friendly as well. A lot of the scuba suppliers, scuba suppliers, scuba press specifically going a long way to look at the more eco way of making the suits themselves. If we move down to the knees, the left and right knee has the non-abrasive panel that we discussed earlier. And then down on the ankles, we have the glide skin at the bottom, so you can zip the suit up about 10 centimeters up to make it much easier for you to get your feet in and then there is the additional section of wetsuit or glide skin on the inside so you can pop your boot over and then zip this closed that will reduce the amount of water that gets into the suit you can however fold this glide skin in against your the skin of your ankle as well to reduce the amount of water that gets in and out of the suit if you are diving in colder waters as well and that is on the left and right hand side on the arm sections of the seat, the elbows have the abrasion protection on the side there. There's a Scuba Pro branding down the left hand side of the arm. And on the left arm, it has the iSafe um, tag. So the iSafe tag is a strap on the suit itself that you can put your 
uh, dive computer through just to hold it in place. Keeping in mind that when you go diving, your wetsuit compresses. So you can put your dive computer on your arm at the surface and it'll be quite tight. But when you start going past 20, 30 meters, the neoprene compresses and the dive computer can slide up and down your arm quite easily. The R safe tag over here or band will hold your dive computer in place so it does not slide up and down your arm, which is quite a good addition. As far as the wrists are concerned, if I open up the wrist section, you've also got about a 10 centimeter section here of zip that you can zip up. And the uh, glide skin wrist seal, you can either leave it as is, so if you're wearing gloves, you can pop those over the top and then zip down, and then you've got a double seal to reduce the amount of water that gets in. Or if you're diving without gloves in a colder environment, you can fold the glide skin in on itself like you do with your ankles just to reduce the amount of water that goes in and out of the suit. A uh, top tip from me which you guys need to watch out for is just your nails. When you're trying to pull your wetsuit on, if you grab hold of this glide skin and give it a tug, your nails can dig into the glide skin itself which can tear through. A uh, top tip from us is to use a checkers packet or a Woolworths packet, an old one of those, the plastic ones, put that over your hands and wrists to slide in. Um, that'll help lube up and slide through the suit. It's an old surface trick that works really, really well. Uh, a lot of divers as well will make what they call slip juice. You can take aqua cream with a bit of water and just stick it in a squeegee bottle and squirt that into your suit. It makes it much easier to get it on and off when you are about to go on a dive. Just remember after dive weekends, if using that, you need to wash the wetsuit quite quite thoroughly in a uh, antifungal, antibacterial wetsuit shampoo. Okay, swapping over to the back of the suit itself, you can see there is a few really big panels down the back. You've got a big back panel and then over the, um, the bum and your quad, quad hamstring area, it's one big panel for the left and right side over there and it's made of a slightly different neoprene. It's a very abrasive resistance um, neoprene over that area because this is a very high wear and tear area. If you're sitting down on the boats or getting up and down the whole time, this is an area that tends to take quite a beating. So it's a slightly different neoprene there as opposed to the rest of the suit itself. As far as the zip on the back is concerned, Scuba Pro have an offset, offset angled zip. So a lot of wetsuits run straight up your back. Scuba Pro have this offset to the left hand side and it runs at a bit of an angle. Two reasons for this. First one is that it makes it much easier for you to zip your suit up by yourself as opposed to pulling it straight up. If it's at a bit of an angle, it makes it much easier for you to do as you zip the, the suits up. Top tip from me though is if you are working with wet suits, whenever you put your suit on, when it's time to zip up, call your buddy over to help you arch your back and get them to zip the suit up for you. Quite often when you're pulling the suit by yourself, you put a lot of strain on the base of the zip. And Scuba Pro have reinforced the base of the zip here with an additional pad just so the zip doesn't pull loose. But for the longevity of the suit, we always recommend getting your buddy to help you. And the second reason the zip is offset is on the inside of the suit itself, they have a cylinder protection pad. So you can see how that's been stitched in there. It's just an extra little bit of neoprene which runs over the spine, which will reduce the amount of pressure on your spine if you are walking with the cylinder on your back, if you're doing short entries, or around the boat or while diving as well on extra long dives. There's just a little bit of extra padding on your back just to protect your spine there. Going into the suit itself, we can see there are two different types of neoprene on the inside. Um, this is quite a fine, fine textured neoprene on the inside. It's almost like a microfiber. Scuba Pro call this orange section the infrared neoprene. So they say it reflects the heat directly back to your body and that's specifically around the torso and back area to try to keep your core warm. And then further down the suit on the inside is this gray neoprene. This is not as tightly packed, so there's a little bit more space there. And uh, this does keep you quite warm as well, but not as warm as the uh, torso area. So the suits themselves do really well as far as the thermal protection is concerned. And that is the same for the 5mm and the 7mm suit itself. So that is a really great thing that Scuba Pro have done. As far as the uh, zip is concerned, it's a long YKK zip. And they have an extra bit of flashing 
or neoprene flashing on the inside of the zip here and that just covers the the zip itself so water doesn't rush in it'll hit the zip and it's going to move to the side so that helps you warm the water up as it enters the body and you have a tiny little piece of velcro at the top just to hold the zip in place once you've zipped your zip up and you have a neck neoprene here just to zip or just hold the neck seal closed the neoprene also the velcro that they've put on the top here is different to the other velcros that i've seen in the past this is a very fine velcro so it seems to be a lot less abrasive compared to the older velcros which if they touch the suit tend to uh, wear it out you see those little bubbles of material as it wears we always recommend if your wetsuit is not in use make sure it's closed because when you finish your dive weekend if you leave this open and roll the suit up and just leave this neoprene touching the rest of your suit when you are traveling in vehicles and airplanes over long distances with all the vibration this um, Velcro is going to rub against your suit which can damage it so just remember to put the neck seal back on the top so it's on where it's designed to be and that will go a long way in increasing the lifespan of the suit itself so there is our review of the Scuba Pro Definition Wet Suit available in 5mm uh, and 7mm as well as the male and female cut the difference between the male and the female cut is the male wetsuit has got bumps where it needs and the female wetsuit has got bumps in all the right places for the ladies as well. So you'd find around the bust area and hip area, the ladies wetsuits tend to be a little bit bigger to allow for the, the things that are there. And the male wetsuits tend to be a bit broader on the, the shoulders, but the technology and overall design and concept is exactly the same. So if you guys are interested, you can pop over to our website and uh, purchase this online. We can create you anywhere in the country. There's our review of the Scuba Pro Definition Shorty. So that's it from you guys, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.